getting everything up to the roof. I'm sure I've done it like that before. <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh yeah. He's so sleek and muscular now. <laughs> nice. Here we go. Look at all this lovely work you're doing and you're fucking angry. He's got the bigger cabin pipe. Okay, that's going to be a great deal of the Big boys. Um, what's this? Mm -hmm. There's a picture of my ass. Yeah. That's what I'm into. Okay. <laughs> He does his best work on his knees. I'm kid free for the next three days, so I'm going to stay back for the next three days. Fucking kid free? What'd you sell him? Nah, fucking. I had to drop him down to Sussex because two of them started school. I finished school for the year after the semester. Bit of water in this one. Oh uh, yeah. You guys all right? Sludgy. Yeah. Yeah. Come back. Holy wish shirt. Shots. We were so cut too ready. I think they went for their lunch on Friday. Right? <laughs> We're just lucky Jake's so buff. I just made a buff comment, Jake, and you're fucking mucking around. <laughs> just push those cables into their set, like kick them down so the... Yeah, that's right. it, bro. That's it. This is coming on the left, um, Andy. So make sure that last one is to the far right. Yeah, I'll just show you my little nook. This is where I've been hiding. Um, I've got probably 50% of my time is uh, gear ordering and uh, stuffing around with, um, you know, ordering parts for the job, keeping the boys busy, having job lists and all that sort of jazz. The rest of my time, I'm just sort of um, working in here because I can just sort of drop this bugger off and it's taken, taken quite a long time to do it, but, you know, it's just a little progress every day, so... I'll show you some more on this tomorrow, but um, yeah, it's a bit of a mess at the moment, but it'll look good soon.
you, you can't let the boss man wind it. <laughs> the powerful forearms, mate. And um, grab me that later. Looks like we're gonna flood again. Happy days. Have a go at the water. Looking at it, this maybe six inches. Not too crazy. The fella that lives just just there, his house flooded months ago when we had like the first flood, and um, we helped him get some of his crap off the floor. Not too bad, mind you. But... At it again, here, boys. Welcome back, Dave. Here. We're doing some of this. This is a good job. So. Um... You know, um, got to start getting all these cables in. The mains, got to do the mains priority, the radox red ones here. And uh, once they're in, they're sort of out of the way on the tray up there, and then sort of all these cables here can sort of run along the tray where they need to go. So I'll be around. Um, this here is our essential side. So how this board works, you've got the main switch here. That goes down to a set of bus bars, and then you have a main switch for the non-essential circuits or non-safety and then you should have a main yeah there's a main switch here for the essential circuit so you can isolate that side of the board or that side of the board if you need to you know uh, down here we've got a generator automatic transfer switch which i'll do a separate video on completely um, but yeah so i mean this is all happening I'm not personally in the room, in this room, the boys are doing it. It's, it's a bit too much for me to run the job and also get in here, though I would love to do it. This is my, my favorite job. So um, yeah, I'll uh, update you guys as they continue getting things in and start terminating. We've got all the lugs and the glands on order. So in a couple of days, we should be able to start, you know, getting some nice Instagram worthy shots of some terminations, which is, I'm super keen boards here has got to get fit off as well this is much more a job that I can stomach because I can you know start fitting off circuits and then fuck off and go you know look at something or do something else but this one here is like this is the cream the cream job <laughs> fucking efficiency tips here boys I'll just make so there's no schmoo on the ground that's fucking the level up but Yes, no, fuck it, it'll be right. No one's gonna pick a couple of yeah. yeah, That's it. Not too bad there, eh? And if you got a double, you can do two in a row. Hey guys, everyone's off for the day, but I'll just show you the progress that Luke made today with this. So. Uh, all right, so we got the 240 two sets in. The sets came in pretty well. Uh, the back set came in perfectly. This one had like a little cross there, but that's that's just part and parcel of the thing. And uh, using uh, joint tech cabling, another little tip I picked up from that fount of knowledge. Um, yeah, just to pull the pull them up off the tray a bit, and then once we crank the glands down, um, it'll support support the weight a little better. Take take it just off that edge, 
even though it is a rolled edge cable tray, it's you know still a little bit better. So yeah, we've um, started got some of the the multi cores down. Um, these guys are going to sort of start populating board saws as well. We've got a couple more sets to run tomorrow, so I'll show you a bit of that in this video as well. And um, yeah, so the XLPEs for this board are in. Um, yet to do that one, but yeah, some of the Tying in on the tray, we've cut some cable ties, but that's fine. Show you the tips for flush cutting these bad boys, the big ties. No, there's no excuse leaving shit like this. I fucking hate it, man. It's a pet peeve. So this is all coming along pretty well down here. So had some fire sealing stuff that you know the um, we had a fire inspector fella. He came out. We've got to have like all this to the ceiling stuff so it's put a complete hold on this this room um because i had to fire seal all that top section i'm not sure what they're going to do with it whether they're going to set it all or just leave it because um it was up in the air whether we were even going to have a ceiling in this room so i'm not sure what's going to happen there and you know we want all that to be on show because it looks so sexually attractive all right and this is the ups room so the ups distribution boards are in uh, this is one of the two bypass switches um, this is the power UPS so there'll, there'll be a separate video on this that I'll do you know, explaining what's going on there so the UPS has got a feed here um, and I'll explain this I might do one of uh, David Savory's um, oh, what are they fucking called Vis I'll give you some visual aids <laughs> visual HIV I'll give you some visual HIV on um, how, how this bypass works and then there's um, the generator backup system sort of thing in the uh, board that um, also is pretty interesting if you've never been experienced. So, I mean, lovely afternoon. I'm supposed to be home. Wife and the kids are driving the wife completely mental. The kids are driving my wife mental. So. Absolutely gorgeous afternoon. So all this was underwater. Well, actually, it wasn't this. It was uh, down there. There's uh, I'll, I'll see if I can. I'll put the photo, but it's like a top-down drone photo of that um, BMX track over there. Completely flooded. The water come up to here again. Like it, it recently just flooded in Camden again. It's a fucking joke. A couple of businesses that have just been like completely stuffed over by this. Like it's flooded them multiple times. Mm -hmm. Got the big company placement that sticker. I'll have to charge them some Instagram fees. <laughs> Our position's a little squishy here. That's it, mate. Keep those toes out of the way, Trav. <laughs> <coughs>
Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey boys, early morning start. Um, up here, um, we've got to get all this out of the way. And I've got to build a Unistrut frame to um, support the switchboards that's going to be here and here. There's a triple panel, so it's going to be a bit of a mesh. So I've got all these extra bits, and I'll show you them, but it should be good. All right, I've got an update. Um, we had to disconnect a few things out of the temp board, so the temp board's now around the corner to get it out of the way to do this frame. But we um, decided that with all the cables, with all the cables here stuck out our it's going to be two in the way, so we're shortening them, shortening, shortening them up so that um, what we can do is, if you look down here, there's a, the penetration to get into the basement is there. So what we're going to do is shorten them up so they're termination length for the switchboard. And we're just going to poke them downstairs so everything's out of our way. And then we can build this silly frame, which you'll see soon. Go get my pork roll, cunt! <laughs> yeah so fuck yeah so this, um there's some temporary shit going down to the basement which is tucked in behind so that was all right we can just push that to the wall and um you know this is the problem with coro as well it just fucking like it, it doesn't get heaps of sun here through this wall but um it got enough and like the coro is just fucking falling apart this is why this shit isn't fucking worth using boys always use rigid if you've got an option just fucking breaking it at every corner. Anywho, um, yeah, so the reason fucking trying to kill me. The reason that we're doing this now is we had to get the um, consumer mains and the generator set in before I put any of this frame in. I probably could have put the frame in and not mounted the boards and then run the cables, but I just I don't know. I, I didn't think cleverly enough about it, so. Um, I'm doing it now, so yeah, we'll just get all this shit out of the way downstairs and then um, We'll probably have to wait a week on this video because I'm relabeling these cables. We've been Been here at 7. We moved the temp board that took about an hour and uh, We've been cutting cables ever since and it's nearly 11 o'clock now So just relabeling stuff is a slow tedious process. Anyway, yeah little update for you. So um, Next time I see you all that'll be fucking Downstairs. This day has been a fucking shit show. So that took me fucking hours to sort out. So everything is downstairs now, but it I don't even want to start. So I've done some preliminary marking out for this um setup, which is fucked. It's it's honestly fucked. I've gotta go up there. This side this side is okay. But this side I've got to dodge this fucking duct and I've got clearance issues with the mains so it's got to come out a bit but the further I come out the tighter it gets up there and like I can't even fucking get up there to drill like I'm like I've got a tray here and around this side the, the my only option is to drill it from this uh there's a bathroom I'm pretty sure but I mean look at the fucking it mm. All right, fucking no. It's a fucking joke, honestly. Anyway, I should have built this uh, this thing, you know, before I had the cables. But then, you know, it's it's one of these things. You know, you fucking you're trying to make that job easier, which is like the hard bit. The next video of this, I guess I'll um, have something to actually show you. Yeah, I'm gonna call it a day. So I'll see you soon. Yeah, that's right here. It says fucking joke on it. Is that not your name? What do you mean? Your fat max. Your brand new one. Uh, uh, I'm going to come to your mouth, mate. Ron dicks on it. Oh, I'm not around now. It says I'm a dumbass. This guy? Yeah, that's okay. Alright. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll grab my dog.
what is this? Oh, 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 little case. Hmm. Down <laughs> Prettied up tomorrow. Drop some cables in the top. Sorry. Oh, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> talking, well, talking to these these fuckers. Hmm. The contrast is going to be super off, but we've marked out all the lights in this uh, this recovery room here. Well, this is a, this our seated area. So we marked them out on the floor so the um, Jip rocker guys, they can uh, put their laser on the marks and see what they need to cut out on the ceiling. So the fairing channels, which are these runners, uh, they don't care if they get knocked around, but the TCRs, which are these pieces, they're the supporting sort of beams of this uh, ceiling structure. If we have to move or cut one of them, they want to put up a couple of fixings into the roof and uh, get get some more of these hangers down to support so if we had to move it like here they'd put two more here to support the roof and it's what's holding the roof up so yeah we're all getting clearing out that side and we're gonna mark out that side and yeah Do you reckon my buddy steve needs a new hammer fucking flogged gotta get these big boys in Smile. <laughs> Cut to the job being like completely done, but that's the set we got in today. 180s, so they're for um, they're for this breaker here. Um, it's a pretty big set. It's gonna be hard to get the get the cables in there, but that's all good. They are oh, like I said, it's a 180 mil square cable, but they're um, they're a solid. Whereas our 240s here are, are flex, like so, there's only like, you know, you can pause the video and count how many cores that versus, you know, hundreds and hundreds of cores in that. I have a scrappy bit here. How's the scrap bin looking, boys? Yeah, so that's the flex. So extremely easy to ma manipulate versus like almost impossible to roll off the drums. So. That's in, that's sorted. I'll show you the other end. Alright, so here we are at the other end. So this is like the um, condenser set and all this all this sort of stuff for the uh, aircon gear on the site here. So um, this is where it's going here. It's a 300 amp service, not a 600 amp service. I think originally when this job, oh, if you've been watching these silly videos I'm making, um, I commented on this ages back um, and it was going to be a 600 amp. Uh, with this it was going to have a chiller so that chiller has been deleted so or something I think I'm not sure it's not my it's not my part of the job so anyway so the mains are through here now they've got to come around this tray down the side oh jeez that's going to be fucking difficult now anyway down the side and uh, they're going to go in with those uh, fire rated set so just in between the orange and the red there so they'll go in this cable way, go up and uh, across and into the top of the main switch here, which looks like this. So that's going to be a nice dirty bend to put on that, but that's fine. It's just part of the fucking fun. And yeah, so um, we had the other end because we're at the main board. We had the other end completely. And uh, this end, we we have our slack, so it ended up being perfect. I've been 
short on a couple of cables on this job, so we've got to do some joins, but this one was spot on, so, which is good, because it's a big one. Um, yeah, other than that, we've got a nice view of the bin and like everything else, but yeah, I might, um, might make this the end of a video, because if I keep doing daily snippets, they get fucking really long, so I'll see you on the next one. Oh,